This video is to show the Human Body PowerPoint project for third grade. So on this page, your job will be to be filling out a PowerPoint file, uh, answering some questions about the human body, and specifically muscles and bones. So the first thing you'll need to do is download this file. Now if you're using Firefox, it will probably have a box like this popping up. Uh, it'll ask you to open it with PowerPoint. Click OK. The PowerPoint should open itself up. So now you see that you are doing the human body unit. You have the ability to type your name in. So you will take out the letters that are there and put your name. You are the author. When we're using PowerPoint, we work through the slides by clicking on them over here. Uh, so this slide asks you to copy and paste the leg muscle here, and it has question and answers. So to copy and paste the leg muscle into this box, you have to look at these three muscle examples that we have, decide which one you think is the leg muscle, and copy and paste that. To copy and paste, we right-click on top of the pictures, and I would choose Copy Image from the menu. If you do a regular left click on it and this menu doesn't pop up, then you have to do the other finger. So it's a right click and then do a regular click for copy image. When I come back into here, I right click again because I want my menu up and then I choose paste. So we copy and we paste. And it's totally fine if it comes up huge. We can resize it. I look for the corner piece, so I pulled it a little bit. Uh, and then you look for the circle. We call it a handle and you click and you pull it toward the middle to make that picture smaller. And it's still a little bit too big, so I'm going to grab the handle again. And again, this is good practice for you to have to resize. And probably one more time. Okay, here's my leg muscle copied and pasted. Now, you have two questions over here to answer the questions in black and your answer right here will end up being in blue. So you'll read the question, you will type in your answer. Now if you type a lot, you'll notice that the text gets smaller. You want that to happen, that's absolutely fine. Once you've answered the questions for the leg muscle, you'll move on to the next slide. Do the same thing here, copy and paste, but this time it's the arm muscle. You have two questions to answer. Next one is the, your thumb muscles answer that question. Now, this is um, a longer section. So after you've done the leg muscle, arm muscle, thumb muscles, you have two slides that are asking you to think about what it is that you've learned so far. So this one says, after completing the investigation on muscles, Lisa wrote in her journal, and then you can read what she put in. This slide is just for the purpose of um, showing you what Lisa wrote in her journal. Your response is going to be on the next slide. Do you agree or disagree with Lisa's two statements and explain your answer? So you will type in an answer. You'll do the best that you can. Remember all of our good science writing, using our vocabulary words that we know, of course using full sentences. You will answer that question to the best of your ability. If you don't get all of this done today, that's absolutely fine. Just make sure that you save as because this is the first time that we're saving this. So you'll click on Save As. You will find your file. So you will find the one with your number on it. Mine happens to have my name. And then you'll save it in there. It'll be called Human Body Unit. I'm going to save mine under third grade because I have some folders set up. You don't need to set up folders. Um, so I would open up third grade. And now Human Body Unit you will be saving. So then the next week, the next time that it's time to work on this assignment, you'll go into my computer, find the one with your number on it. I have to find third grade now, but yours will just be sitting in there. And I'm looking for human body unit. And I knew that this one was it because the PowerPoint has a little red symbol. So I would open that one up to be able to continue working where I was. So that is your job to accomplish in the next few weeks. Uh, each time that you have computer time, you'll be able to get a little bit more of it done, you'll be able to answer those questions until you have completed it. I will be going into each of your accounts to do the grading, so I expect 
uh, your best quality work and I expect it to be done when it is due. Okay, you can go ahead and get to work.